Yeah, put that up there. Get it right. <laughs> Is this on? <laughs> I've talked a couple guys for the line, and, and I think that consensus seems to be that improving, but still not perfect. No, I think that, uh, you know, that's something that you consistently do is, is you strive for perfection. You strive to, to continue to get better. And I think uh, um, across the board, nobody's complacent with where we're at right now. And, you know, anybody who's at this point in the game is, is studying every single detail of it. You know, you're focusing on, you know, the, the little things. If there's any tips, if there's anything that you can do to, to take advantage of anything, that's what you're working on. And then for this game, you know, everything, uh, there, there's nothing little, there's nothing small. Each point of the game is is huge. And I think, uh, you know, you're focusing on every single detail of, of every block, of, of every protection, of every run play. And I think that's the way that we've made the progress that we have is that, you know, even when things are well, even when things are going good, you know, you're constantly trying to pick out the things that you can make improvements on. And I think you're seeing that across the board uh, amongst this team. And uh, we need to play that way. We need to play as, as mistake-free football as we can against this team because uh, they're a very good team. They're at home. And, um, you know, if you give them things, uh, especially uh, on the road, it's, it's uh, for us, it's, it's ways for them to gain momentum. And, um, you know, when you go there, you want to start fast and, and start on the right foot and, and make sure you give yourself the best opportunity to go out there and play your best football. Oh, he looked, uh, you know, obviously you're going to get millions of questions about that, but, you know, he looked great. He was ready to go, and, you know, it's kind of the thing that's been going around, guys sick, all that stuff. Uh, you know, you're just glad that, uh, you know, he's back out here ready to go, but, you know, we're not surprised. We're sure that he was, he was sitting there breaking down film when he was laying there resting, getting ready for today, and, um, you know, we know that he's going to do everything he can to be prepared for this one, and he's going to be ready to go. Definitely. I mean, that's going to be a crucial game, especially uh, you know when they're talking about now the elements and, and maybe a muddy field and all that stuff. Running the football is going to be a huge point in this game for both football teams. You know, you you hate to continue to talk about it, but it's those are the types of things that that are the difference changers in this game. The team, you know, that can control the line of scrimmage, the team that can run the ball and keep the other offense off the field. You know, running the ball also does things to keep yourself in third and manageable downs. Uh, for us, that's going to be very important. You don't want to be in the road and being, you know, third and ten, third and eleven plus where. You know, the, you let these guys attack and, and, and be able to get uh, after Eli, and, and that's going to be very important for us. So uh, we definitely have to be able to run the ball, and this is a, a tough group to do it against. They've got uh, great personnel. They've got, you know, great up front seven. And it's not that they're trying to trick you. They're not doing different things. What they do is they play sound, fundamental football. They play with great technique, and uh, this, is, this is why we play the game is to challenge yourself in – you know, what is uh, our biggest game of the season? I mean, it's no no, uh, no mistake and no question that this is the biggest one. And, you know, we all understand how, how important this game is. And we all understand that we're one win away from the Super Bowl. And I know guys are, are, are approaching this game that way. Everybody, um, you know, everybody has their family and all the different things. But I know guys right now, the one thing they're focusing on is this game, you know. And, you know, down the road, you can you can worry about all those things. But the one thing you do when you have games like this and this opportunity, you never want to have any regrets. You never want to look back and say, hey, you know, maybe I could have watched a little bit more film. Maybe I could have worked on this technique a little bit more. You know, you're doing everything you can so that when you go to this game, number one, you, you play relaxed, you play free, and, and that you know that, hey, I, I laid everything out on the field, and, and hopefully uh, you come out on top. Well, go ahead. Yeah. I think that he's proven he's not a soft player. I think uh, we've seen the way how he's able to run the ball, how tough he is as a, as a competitor. Um, you see guys not wanting to take him on. And uh, I think uh, if Brandon had the opportunity to run in the open field, I think uh, he'd get the best of Jerry Rice. So that's in my opinion. But, you know, I, that's fine. Let people say what they want to say. This game's going to be won and lost out on the football field. And, and that is going to be a very big point in this game. Who's the most physical team? Who's the team that wants it more? And uh, who's the team that's willing to lay it all on the line? And 
uh, is the team that's going to win this game. So uh, I know that uh, we're preparing as hard as we can. We still have uh, that business-like attitude that we've had that, uh, you know, each and every day is, is constant improvement and, and focus. And, you know, you're seeing that in the meeting rooms. You're seeing it out here on the practice field. Guys are flying around. Guys are crisp. Guys aren't making mental errors. Guys are in tune to what they need to do uh, to get themselves ready for this one. And uh, I know that we are going to be ready. Oh, well, it's definitely, you know, it's something that you, you're disappointed in as an offensive line and as a group because you, you understand how important it is as an offense to be able to run the football. And I think the one thing that we've done throughout all of it is, is continue to, like I said, continue to, to work to make that a strength, continue to, to fight and do whatever it takes to get the job done. And, you know, whether there's eight guys in the box, it doesn't matter. You've got to go out there, and it takes all 11, 11 guys to get it done in the run game. You know, we always say that, number one, you know, you've got to finish your blocks, but number two, there's no backside uh, against a team like this who, you know, swarms from the backside that chases things down to the ball. Uh, each and every block is crucial to running the ball, and uh, it's going to be very important in this game. I think uh, having both him and Brandon bring that uh, that physical presence, uh, the energy, and uh, the the way that he's been running the ball, the way that Brandon's been running the ball, and the confidence that we have in those guys. We know if we open up holes for him, if you know we block a little extra longer, that uh, they're going to do whatever they can to get yards and and uh, do it in a, a physical way, in a way that you know in the third and fourth quarter it's it pays dividends because those two three yard gains start breaking open like they have, and uh, that's going to be very important in this one. No. Good afternoon. No. <laughs> I just, um, I just think it's um, the effort of everybody just um, every week going back to the drawing board and trying to get better and better. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a win or a loss. We, we review the tape, we study, learn from it, and try to get better from it. And I think everybody's made a value effort to do that, whether they had a good game, bad game, or a great game. And um, I think that's what got us in the position that we're in right now. And um, I don't think the guys stopped it now. We've been doing the same thing this week as well. Mm -hmm. I swear, I think it's that just the resiliency of you know the team. You know what I mean? Um, we um, we bend, but we don't break. We don't point any fingers. So um, that ultimately help us out and make everything smoother. You know what I mean? You get guys pointing fingers in different directions. You know everything can fall apart, but we never did that. And I think that's um, you know showed the character of the team, keep us a, a close knit group. And um, like I said, we work every you know whatever our mistakes are that we made in the past, we want to correct them. We think that um, like anybody else, you know, a mistake that's not learned from is another one waiting to happen. So I think we've been doing a great job of learning from those mistakes and so we could eliminate those mental errors and stuff that we had that we was giving up big plays and big yardages and, and that's why the yardage and stuff is down now. Exactly right. You know, we can name a few players that you know played great careers, but haven't been um, in the position that we have been in. And I think um, we have to make the best of these opportunities when we get here, and um, take full advantage of them. And I think like um, you know, having the guys that are, that's been here for a couple of times and been to those situations, um, telling the younger players what to do, what to look for, what not to do, and how to prepare for those games, I think that helps them a lot and helps them along and make their transition to those games easier and smoother. Um, I mean, um, knowing you got one more game to work, I mean, it's not over. You know, I mean, it, the job is not done. Um, so um, it's a great feeling on the knowing, knowing that you um, and you have 32 teams out there and you're only two teams left and the world is watching. But um, we still have some work to do. You know, I mean, we're not done yet. Um, I think we um, put ourselves in a good situation to, um, to do something special here. And everybody's working hard to do that. I kind of I don't want to I don't I don't want to give it anyway. Um, we still have to play, but I think um, you know we have to be cognizant of what shoes to wear. Um, you know I think they're a great running running football team. So um, 
with what with a, with a wet field, I think they're you know be cognizant of doing doing that more. But we still have to stop the run. Um, they hope for them to put them in different situations, and um, when they do be in those long yardage and situations, we have to stop it as well. Um, I mean, we had that last week, so we had to go you know, back and learn from the mistakes that we made against Aaron Rodgers and him pulling the ball down and you know was able to get in some some rushing yards. So um, I think we have to go back to our as well as making a big scheme defensive. We had to go back to our techniques and fundamental as a um, team, make sure guys are being disciplined and standing in their rush lanes and taking care of their gaps so we don't allow the quarterback to get out. When we do have um, good coverage and you have to pull the ball down the run and we make sure everybody's where they need to be so we can get a, um, you know, get a tackle. Thank you. <laughs>